Hey, what's going on chess fanatics? Uh, hope everyone's doing well. We're gonna just pop into the 10 minute pool, see who we wind up getting. Hopefully, uh, hopefully everything looks okay here. But uh, yeah, if not, we'll, we'll have to fix it. What about this? Yeah, I think that one looks a little bit better. Okay, uh, let's go with knight to f3. And uh, yeah, a little bit of a different setup here. Okay, we'll do this. Pretty, uh, pretty standard stuff. Okay. Now let's, uh, let's get developed quick here. Yeah, we're rated, what, 1605, playing an opponent 1685. Uh, where are they from? Peru. Okay. What if we push d5 here? Okay, so now we'll... Push, uh, push b3. Develop out uh, the knight here to c2. And then we'll try and just uh, transfer it over here to the f3 square. Uh, assuming this knight moves somewhere. So we might get the rook out first, but really need to prioritize some development here. So they go with the check. Uh, let's see here if we move over. What is their plan? Are they coming in here? Just queen up. I think we'll... Uh, Oh, of course, what, what am I thinking? Of course, I need to, to move uh, the king here. And now let's see what the plan is. So if we get the knight here to d2, uh, it's going to threaten trading off. Yeah, okay, so it does make a difference because I think we will develop now here instead. Okay, let's just offer this exchange. I'm assuming they'll take it. I'm assuming they'll capture here as well. Try and retreat, but I don't know that it's the best. Okay, they want to keep some pieces on the board, that's fine. They're looking to target the d3 square, maybe. That's kind of ugly. Let's let's push uh, h3 here and see. Now, what if we... That's pretty crazy, we can't do that. Hopefully we're not blundering anything too insane here. I'm gonna start activating our queen. Look to bring the rooks over. Okay, so what about this fork? He takes here. I mean, are we are we getting smashed if we go for this? Okay, let's see here. What about knight in? What if we just capture? No, nope, can't do that. Rook up? No, nope, one dropped. Hmm. All right, seems like a pretty critical position here. So let's take a second. What about knight in? When it drops this pawn. Hmm. Okay, what about? Go if he takes, takes. I mean, that might be the best move. Yeah, we'll see if uh, if he takes. So if he does, ooh, okay. So now we're gonna take this and threaten the bishop. Okay. So now we're protecting this. Okay. So I think the plan now is just trade down pieces. So if they don't move the queen, I think what we might consider is just queen over to g4. I think that'll force an exchange right on the spot. And then, uh, yeah, we should be good. I mean, we could also do this. How do they defend? Oh, okay, they're trying to mate us. Fair. So we go here. Hmm. Yeah, good move. Good move from our opponent. If we do this, they would take... If they take with the queen... I mean, one gives a piece back. We just develop here. Okay, let's just go for this. If takes, takes, pawn takes, king takes, and we've got everything nicely defended, so. Okay, we will take. And now what we will do is just offer a rook trade. We're attacking this one. Okay, so we'll take that. Okay. So if we take this, rook up, then protect. Yeah, he can't take that because he'll walk into a pin. Let's just go for that. Okay. All right. We'll just stop the pawn from advancing.
There we go. Blender's the fork. Okay, you can push this pawn, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're going to just take that and win. There we have it. All right, so uh, wound up winning a, a decent game there against uh, 16, whatever, 85, I think. Uh, okay, let's take a look at the review. Okay, so we played that 82.1, uh, one great move, no blunders, that's good, one miss, a couple mistakes, a game rating 2000 versus our opponents uh, 1200. So yeah, we were able to, uh, I mean, we were down a little bit, but we, we kept things more or less equal and then uh, had a pretty commanding lead. So let's, uh, let's see here. Also didn't like the centralization, but that fork was uh, the one the one piece that I was wondering about, like, hey, is this going to allow me to win? Uh, it turns out that it is. Let's, let's go back here. Okay, so that was definitely the move. Yeah, this uh, the way they're doing this now is pretty annoying. So, um, yeah, once we got here, I, I thought that this was a, a nice move. Um, if takes, then takes. I couldn't see anything else other than takes, takes, for example. And again, we're just in a nicely winning endgame. Uh, so I felt that that was a great way to wind up simplifying things. But I had the opportunity to swap off a pair of rooks here. And uh, obviously, I'm sure I could have made it much easier on myself. Um, Got to give it up to our opponent. He really... Uh, really played on as he should but I mean when you're down a couple pieces it's pretty difficult I think um yeah right here uh, there was obviously you know a lot of forks uh, that were possible the opponent was in a pretty uh pretty bad position and obviously this was just uh, another blunder that led to the loss and so here uh, obviously king up is going to be the move um, if I had a chance to play h4, I would have, just so I could have sped up this process a little bit. But uh, we got tons of time. We got tons of pieces. <laughs> I really didn't like this. Um, but honestly, uh, from my perspective, the easiest way, especially with 40 some odd seconds on the clock, is to do exactly this. And uh, just bash through uh, that pawn structure and really leave our opponent with no hope whatsoever. So we protected this and uh, he wasn't able to come back in so that was forced and we were able to get a nice mate here so uh, there we go 1615 uh, hope you guys enjoyed the game I'll see you tomorrow bye